Hey, I'm Hassan Fazal and today we are learning how to make this from this and that too by using just pivot tables. Okay, first thing first. In order to use pivot tables effectively, ideally our data should be in columnar form just like we have it on the screen. Now I can completely understand that it cannot always be the case. So we might have to rearrange the data for pivot table purposes. I have discussed some of those methods with several examples on my website. I will provide the link to those tutorials in the description box below. So do check them out. Okay, once we have the data like this, we can create profit and loss statements in a matter of few minutes. So let's see how this is done. Have an active cell inside the Excel table. Hit Control A and it will select the data for us. Go to Insert tab and under Tables Group, click Pivot Table. You will have this dialog box which has several options, but for now, simply click OK. It will insert a new worksheet for us with Pivot Table Base and Pivot Table Fields option on the right. Start dragging the fields from the list to the values quadrant. You can drag the fields easily by clicking and holding the left mouse button, moving the cursor and unhold the button once you are in the values field quadrant. So let's see how this is done. Move your mouse over cost of goods sold field. Click and hold the left mouse button. Move your mouse, unhold the button and you will have a field inserted in the values field quadrant. Repeat this step to insert all of the fields in the values quadrant. So we have admin expenses, then we have selling expenses, then we have financial costs, and lastly, tax. Now you might have noticed that I have added every field after the other one. You can insert the fields in any order you want. It doesn't make any difference because you can easily rearrange them if you want to. For example, we can move cost of goods sold above if we like, and we can move the field even downwards. So it doesn't make any difference the way you are dragging the fields. You can rearrange them anytime, every time. Okay, once this is done, move the values field from column to rows and you can see the profit and loss statement shaping up very quickly. We are still far from the perfect formal profit and loss statement because we need gross profit, operating profit, profit before tax and profit after tax. For this, we need to add customized fields or better known as calculated fields in the pivot tables. So let's see how this is done. Have an active cell inside the pivot table. Go to Analyze tab. Click Fields, Items and Sets drop down button. And then click Calculated Field. You will have a dialog box to insert a calculated field. Just like the name is suggesting, it's a custom field where you do some calculations and the resulting field is inserted in the pivot table. So first one is gross profit. We know gross profit is simply sales minus cost of goods sold. So equal sign, find the sales field in the list, double click, minus, find the cost of goods sold field in the list, double click and press OK. This will insert the gross profit or in this case gross loss field in the pivot table for us. Now don't worry we have the gross profit at the end because we can easily move this field to its appropriate location. Have the gross profit field selected. Move your mouse just to the edge of the cell and move the field to its appropriate location. Just like this. Now we need to add three more fields, operating profit or loss, profit before tax and profit after tax. Again, we will be using the same method that we used to insert gross profit field. So let's add them very quickly. Mm -hmm. 
Now you can add multiple fields without exiting the calculated fields dialog box. For example, I have just inserted profit before tax and I can insert profit after tax without exiting this dialog box. Simply remove the name. Enter the name of new field you want to insert. Equals profit before tax minus tax. Click add. And once all of the fields that you desire are added, simply click OK. And you can see that both of these fields are added together. Again, simply move the fields to their appropriate location. And now we have the profit and loss statement in a much better format. But we do have this sum of phrase before every element. So let's see how we are going to get rid of it. Go to Home tab, click Find and select drop down button, click Replace. Find what? We need to find this sum off and replace it with nothing or simply a space bar. Click Replace All button, close, and now you can see we have the profit and loss statement in a much better shape. Okay. We have the numbers, but let's format them in a much more understandable manner. You can select all of the numbers in one go by simply moving the mouse at the edge of the pivot table and you can see the cursor changing and pointing downwards. Click left mouse button and it will select all of the numbers for you. Hit control one and you will see format cell dialog box again. Go to numbers. Now for some reason I don't have the bracket notation for negative numbers but don't worry we can make the formats ourselves using custom format. Remove the zero from type input field hash comma hash three times semicolon bracket and then press OK. And now you can see negative numbers represented with brackets. However, there is one small problem that positive numbers are not aligning with the negative numbers properly. For example, if you see here, this 211 is not aligned straight to 355 in the negative number. So let's see how we can fix this. Again, select the numbers, hit Control 1. Go to custom and it's showing us the format that we have already applied. Just before the semicolon, insert underscore and then bracket. Now this is telling Excel to insert a space equal to around bracket. It's not going to insert any bracket in the positive figures, but only the space that usually around bracket takes up. Press OK. And now you can see positive numbers are aligned properly with the negative numbers. Now we can continue with the formatting to make it look much more formal. Go to Home tab, insert the border. Now it will help the readers to understand where the subtotals are. One border here. one here and lastly you can have it here and now we have a much more formal profit and loss statement presentation one last thing is this heading which doesn't make any sense so we can get rid of it by simply right clicking on the row and hiding it one last bit if you like to add is the currency sign dollar in this case and you can center align it if you wish. So here you go. You have the profit and loss statements prepared from this data using pivot tables alone. Hope you like the tutorial. More are on their way. So please like and subscribe. And if you think this can help someone else, do share. Thank you. And until next time, peace.